recently, though, the guidance we got from HHS was pandemic preparedness, and that is really what our focus was. Uh, that's been our focus for about the last 36 months, uh, emerging infectious disease and pandemic. Um, so that's where we've been, that's what we've been planning for. Um, this was the building that we utilized to do uh, the primary PPE missions uh, early on in March, uh, okay. through, through about August. This is where- Once we get the vaccine and we get it put into the containers here, when we go to ship it, we only have two minutes from when it leaves this freezer door to when it gets put onto dry ice being fully packed. And really six hours from when it leaves this door till it arrives at the facility that it's going to be shipped at. practice a lot of this again just build that muscle memory and make people comfortable with the process so all right you can go ahead and uh, because again with the being glass vials negative 70 degrees Celsius we, we have concerns we don't want to ship damaged products so we're going to try and make sure that we're sending good product verify that in the process 975 individuals under tier one in Benton County. So a lot of these are not going to come through. A lot of these are going to go straight through. Absolutely. These, yep. are, just, these are probably the smaller. Absolutely. Where you're going to, where you're going to yeah, any, them out. Anything uh, 975 and greater, we hope to direct ship. So Pfizer can push it directly to, to the end use for the hospital. Okay, so they come in here. They go in there. Yeah. yeah. I remember all that stuff. Yeah, I was trying to. 